what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna show you how to properly download and install Cinebench R15 but before that please don't forget to subscribe down below and thank you for watching well it's just a few easy steps just follow along and I'll get you going first thing you'll do is go ahead and open up your web browser and type in WinRAR it's a free unzipping software and it's great I use it all the time once you do that you'll hit search and you'll get a couple of these results here uh, it's this top one and I'll also leave you direct links in the descriptions here you'll go ahead and choose the language uh, make sure you choose this part here these are the stable versions not the beta 5.71 release choose the country that you like and your Windows version 32 bit or 64 bit I'm sure most of you guys have now uh, 64 bit so go ahead I'm gonna hit this one here English 64 bit go ahead hit save it's a small tiny file it's an instant download go ahead and open it up okay then you will get to this install screen go ahead hit install and then you'll see this next screen here go ahead and hit OK you don't do anything here at all and hit done and there it is we have the WinRAR ready to go go ahead you could just close this window and go back to your Windows browser and this time type in Cinebench R15 just like that hit search and you'll get these results here and once again I will have the direct link for you in the description for this also go ahead and hit this top one here Cinebench this is the Guru 3D that's where you're gonna get the software go ahead and click on that here here we are at the Guru 3D scroll down under download locations download from the author number two go ahead and hit click on that hit download this will bring you to the screen just wait a few seconds and you should be able to get yes there it is and as you could see it is already attached to the WinRAR so you're ready to go hit OK now it's just gonna download shouldn't be too long it's 104 meg file depends on your internet speed of course Okay, here it is, and that'll instantly it will open it up into your WinRAR folder here. Go ahead, close this out. They're just gonna tell you to renew. Don't worry about that. And you'll get all this here. Go ahead, minimize your Windows browser, but do not close out of it. Okay, then you bring bring you to your Windows screen here. So what you do is you create, this is a very important part right here, we're almost done. Just create a new folder by right clicking, click on new, hit folder on your desktop. As you can see it, I did it right here already, I just named it Cinebench 15. You can name it wherever you want just so you can remember. And that's where we're going to extract it to and that, that'll stay on your desktop pretty much and every time you want to go ahead and use the Cinebench benchmark right there okay so at this screen you go ahead and just click on this arrow back one time so you have it all in one area here so highlight this as you could see it, it's in blue and then right click it go ahead and choose extract to specific specified folder and here you go ahead and choose the folder we made which is going to be on your desktop you see right here it's on the bottom or wherever it's going to be located for you but chances are it will be on the bottom you click on that now you see the path there it is Cinebench on the desktop go ahead hit OK and now we'll inst extract into your folder here on my new window screen just like that that's it it's done go ahead close this out you 
could go ahead and close out the uh, your internet browser also and then as you could see the folder has changed the way it looks as the Cinebench R15 is in here so double double click on it and here it is now you're ready to go in here you will just double click on this let me just open this up more as you can see the application extension here there it is you double click on that and here we go and that's the proper way how to download and install Cinebench R15 thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe down below goodbye